TK families, this is Mrs. Ward, your friendly TK teacher, with your first edition of TK Tips for Parenting, of course, TKers. Today in class we learned about scissor skills, and so I want to take just a minute to talk with you about this. I always get a lot of kids that come to school to TK every year who have never held a pair of scissors simply because their parents are just too terrified to give them a sharp object, which I totally get. But if you've held out on scissor skills before, now is the time to get started. We'll do scissor skills all year long in TK so that your little ones are ready to cut to their heart's content next year in kindergarten. So if you're going to work with your child on scissor skills, step one, always, always, always review scissor safety before you give your child the scissors. Even if they've cut 15 times before, it's always a good idea to review cutting safety tips again. In TK, the rules are that we put super glue on our buns before we sit in our chairs because once we have scissors in our hand, we're never, ever, ever allowed to get up and walk around with them. Scissors have to be down on a table before they get up out of their chair. Number two, scissors are only for cutting paper. We never cut our own hair. We never cut anyone else's hair. This probably seems obvious, but I can tell to some children that it's not because I have some friends in here who I can tell have either given themselves a haircut or some other child has given them a haircut, not in the classroom, at home previous to coming to TK. So set cutting boundaries at first. Number three, a few things you can do to ensure scissor safety. Uh, when we're cutting, we talk about not having chicken arms. And that means that when you're cutting, you cannot have your elbow out all over the place. That's how accidents happen. They're not paying attention, their arm is flapping, and suddenly they're cutting something over here that you don't want them to cut. So we say, take your flappy wings and put your chicken wing down to your side. Your elbow should be next to the side of your body when you're cutting. Also, you can remind your TKer that your thumb is always the cutting boss. When it comes to cutting and using scissors, the thumb is always in charge. By that, I mean find your scissors. Um, I recommend, of course, child size with a safety tip is best. If your child is uh, lefty, I recommend these smart school scissors. They're available on Amazon for like six bucks. Totally easy for lefties. But back to the cutting finger. So your thumb is the boss. Your thumb goes into the circle. Your other fingers can either go inside the oval or around it if they're more comfortable. So step one is making sure that your child is using appropriate scissor grip. This is really hard for kids. It takes a lot of fine motor strength to open and close the scissors. So before we get anywhere near paper and TK, we practice cutting the air. And we practice cutting the air a lot. And that means our buns are glued down to our chair, our flappy wing is next to our side, and we are opening and closing, opening and closing with correct scissor posture. It's really important to tell kids, again, this is obvious to adults, but not to kids, that when they're cutting, they need to be looking at the scissors. Not like this with the scissors pointing to their face, but out in front of them. So flappy arm in, thumb is the cutting boss, scissors in front of you, eyes on what you're cutting. You can start practicing this at home with your kid for just a couple of minutes a day and it will really help build their fine motor skill, strength, and stamina so that they're ready to cut paper and other objects in TK. Once you feel like they are ready for paper and you can trust them with the scissors, and I'm not saying ever walk away from them with the scissors because you shouldn't, but once they're ready for paper, a key thing that we work on is keeping the scissors straight and moving the paper instead. For example, let me grab a piece of paper really quickly. Kid's natural inclination is to move their arm around to cut. So instead of turning the paper, what they want to do, because it seems obvious to them, is to move their arm. And pretty soon I have a bunch of kids who are really frustrated because they're going like this and they just don't know why they can't finish cutting their shape. So in TK, we practice keeping our scissors still and moving the paper. Again, get them in the right cutting position, put the paper in the scissors, and keep your arm straight while you turn the paper. So much easier and safer for everybody. When your child's ready for paper cutting, before you start doing circles and loops and zigzags and other things, just start with strips. Give your child a small piece of paper and just have them snip it into little pieces. Snip, 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 snip. Give them your junk mail and have them cut it up. Home security. Um, once they've done snips, they can move on to straight lines, curves, zigzags, 
and circles. I really recommend that you take five, 10 minutes a week to sit down one-to-one -one with your child and work on their cutting skills. Uh, their hair and my patients will thank you. Good luck. That's it with the TK tips from Mrs. Ward. Have a great night.